it, it's hot. It's real dang hot. Hotter than I want it to be, and the humidity has put a smack dab in the icky, sticky area of uh, body parts adhering to one another. Need me some gold bond powder pretty bad, but I reckon I'll have to wait. Starting to get pretty out here. Hey guys, very warm afternoon here just south of Nashville. Back out at the uh, steeplechase track. Hopefully there may be a sunset involved in an hour or two. I'm gonna try some intentional camera movement. That's what uh, landscape photographers do at the end of the summer when they've run out of all their other ideas and they're still trying to be relevant and creative. So if, uh, if you'll bear with me, I'm gonna get set up for some of this stuff and. Uh, Apparently there's no rule book on this. We'll make it up as we go. For purposes of what I'm trying to do here, I'm going to use a 5D SR Canon body and a 1 to 400 millimeter zoom lens. Okay, I've, I've been able to, I guess, shoot several things. Um, what seems to be working, um, aperture of about 22 to 32. Shutter speed is uh, 7 tenths of a second, a little over half a second. ISO is 100. Uh, the lens is locked down uh, 200 millimeters. And I'm just trying different motions, uh, both horizontal um, and vertical. It's a lot like shooting critters, uh, birds. You don't know what you've got until you get back to the computer. And uh, if you uh, get everything open in uh, Lightroom and you start grinning, you know you've been, you know you've been at least partially successful. Uh, let's see where this takes us. Frankly, I didn't know what to expect with this ICM stuff. I uh, I had seen a couple of people do it on YouTube and had talked to a couple of people who have tried it. Um, and I gotta say, I was, uh, I guess gobsmacked is as good a way to describe it as, as anything. I was surprised at the, uh, the, um, intensity and interesting nature of the images I was able to produce after a, a fairly short learning curve. Uh, I think the trick is to, to pick subjects that are can be tracked linearly or vertically or on a horizontal as the inherent flowing lines of the subject matter dictate. If you're gonna shoot a, a ocean shore, you would pan left to right. If you're gonna shoot a tree, you pan up and down, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I finally got the hang of it. F22, half a second or so, um, ISO 100, um, long lens, a 200 millimeter, and uh, just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot, and um, I think you'll you'll be pleased with the uh, amount of keepers you got. Like I was referring to, it's a lot like shooting critters. It's uh, you never know what you're going to get, but once you get the uh, images open, you find yourself grinning and you think, well, this was pretty successful. So let's take a look, see what we've got, and uh, I've got a uh, I've got a, a sunset sort of picture to show you at the end.
Okay, I've got the sun setting right there. I've got this leading line fence taking me down to the uh, valley below where uh, the vista is, uh, is anchored solidly in the foreground by a, a row of about eight portable toilets. They're green and white, so they blend right in. And um, I'm hoping that I can get a point of view wide enough to encompass some glow here but what I'm thinking the picture is going to be, it's going to be a blended exposure, two or three exposures. But the trick's going to be hoping, waiting, conniving, planning, uh, scheming that that sun is going to light up the bottom of some of these clouds. So we've got three or four different kinds of clouds to work with. Hey guys, thanks once again. Appreciate you being here, giving me part of your day. If you like what you see, thumbs up. If you really like what you see, why not subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you're notified when I've been up to something. I don't know what we need if we don't have it here. It just it may not be possible anymore, so uh, we'll just we'll just see. <laughs>